All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to play a 1950s housewife who sacrifices the innocent blood of her husband in order to appease the elder gods. It's the call of Karen. More Karen Thulu's, damn it. Listeners and patriots and lovers, watch out. There is a new kind of evil about what? Into your Don't let the octopus into your That's home. That's a message from our lovely sponsor, <laughs> Kirsten. Or you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard copies up north. The bastard it's a metaphor, copies you see. up north. My special guest okay. I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Who the hell's Joanne? Now, what's a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? <gasps> I wonder that myself Ooh. sometimes. Charles. The Call of Karen is a game where we are treated to immediate misogyny, but literally we are going to deal with the elder god as a housewife. I'm, I'm serious. This is where we've gone in gaming now in 2020, and I'm very satisfied <laughs> with it. You can see our beautiful house where I am the homemaker, and by the looks of this picture, completely thrilled to be married. We have such wonderful housewife reading material here, such as definitely a book and 1,000 gelatin recipes. Does Cthulhu like gelatin? Also, how come I have a crosshair on the screen? I can already tell I'm gonna be like beating the shit out of Cthulhu with my Swifter or something. Oh wait, never mind, a trio of butcher knives are on the table and I clearly have a young child named Francis. Maybe I won't be battling the gods, but I'll be battling my family instead. Francis! Francis, honey, come out. Mommy needs to make sure the Gensus are still sharp. Alright, well, I guess I have to make breakfast. Is this breakfast for me, my family, or the supreme evil ones? Does Cthulhu actually eat eggs? What the hell's in here? Wow, I've got a trio of frying pans in case I screwed up the first time. Holy shit! Oh, this game has fantastic physics, doesn't it? Yeah! <laughs> There's nothing like having a glass of wine at 6 a.m. Ah! Oh! Yeah, you could probably fit a child in there. All right, let's start on our housewifely quests here. We got eggs, bacon, and what the hell is that? Look at the size of this thing. It looks like a friggin' flotation device made out of meat. Can I just cook the bacon strips right on the cooktop? Oh, hold on, can I? <laughs> hold on, I'm just curious. Yeah, see, most people don't know this, but the best way to cook your bacon without burning it is to cooking it on top of three different pans. Add some egg. Add another egg. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna add all the eggs. I'm serious, game, if you'll let me, I will cook every single thing in this goddamn refrigerator. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, this one's for the husband. <laughs> Grace still plays going for the three. Yes! You stay on that pan or I will beat your egg ass. Whoa, what? How come this one piece of bacon decided to defy gravity? Where the hell you think you're going? Come here, you delicious slab of meat. Get on there. Okay, that is every single piece of item I can- Oh, I... it's not actually cooking the bacon anymore. There's now so much stuff in the pan, it's not even counting. Condiments? Like, what kind of condiment? What the hell? There's no way that my husband is mortal. He'd be dead after all this sodium. Alrighty, just add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt. Little bit. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Gray, why does your salt look like cocaine? That's because that's what salt looked like in the 1950s. Hwah! All right, dash of pepper. And we're ready to plate this monstrosity. Now, you never want to grab the pan on top. That's dangerous. What you want to do is grab the pan on the bottom. <laughs> I think most of my eggs and bacon ended up going straight through the ceiling. <laughs> Grab your plate. Make sure you get the eggs with a little bit of uh, earth spice on it. That's what we call the dirt on the ground. And that right there is a young woman's day completely done. Now I just have to take a fork. Take a fork to it. Okay, so this is kind of embarrassing. Um, I plated my bacon and eggs so far away that I can't get the fork to interact with it, but I'm pretty sure I can find a way around this. Jump, Carrie, come on! Yes! Francis, I made your favorite. Meatloaf sandwich Mom, with- Mom, I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Love you too, you little dick. When do they ever say thank you? What the hell? Mm. So I just woke up. Um to complete another day of housewife chores. And what the hell is this? As if my job as a mother wasn't hard enough, now I have to deal with floating essay papers from my eight-year-old son. Did my couch just change texture? 
Was that supposed to happen? It was right before, wasn't it? Oh, uh, we're breaching the we're breaching the fourth wall here. It might be time to lay off the morning wine. Thanks for letting all the books down finally, Cthulhu. Asshole. I just I just noticed that definitely a book was written by a writer. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, sh Bruh. the eyes of the elder one are watching me. I guess I can't kill my son until he comes home from school. I hope he doesn't actually pass his spelling test because then I'll feel kind of bad when I slay. Can we put the chair down, please? Cthulhu isn't really sucking out the souls of the non-believers. He's just being a dick. This is a completely accurate representation of a woman's life in the 1950s. The husband's out working and I'm at home dealing with extra planar beings. If you ever wanted to know what it smells like inside of the astral body of Cthulhu, it smells like burnt toast. Bake the meatloaf. Was that the meaty flotation device inside of the fridge? Hey, can you put the oven at 450? This refrigerator regenerated the bacon and eggs. It's the best refrigerator ever made. I like that the game realized how much I could screw around with all the bacon and eggs, so I'm not even allowed to touch it anymore. However, it did give me four meatloafs. So let's just, no, do not cook that yet. No, no, it's not. Why is it baking though? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I have a feeling that wasn't supposed to happen, but I have a feeling a lot of stuff in this game was not supposed to happen. All right, so you want to bake all your meatloafs together. Throw a little wine glass in there. Oh, a little broken glass. Cook it at 450 for about 10 seconds, apparently. This doesn't look like a meatloaf. It looks like an oversized protein bar. Bring it to the table. Do I set it on anything or do I just throw it on the table? <laughs> hey, stop screwing with my freaking bookcase. It's where I keep all my gelatin recipes. I swear to God, if the world ends before I finish this dinner, I'm gonna nope. be pissed. Apparently that fork didn't want to be part of this. Slice it up. You didn't specify what to slice up. Francis. Dinner's ready. Open the door. Francis is in there. He's like, what's that scratching sound? Inevitability, get out here. I love that in order to cut the meatloaf, I have to jump on the table like an animal. Dinner's Got it. Ready. Sure. Sure. Breakfast time, baby. <laughs> oh no, what do I have to cook breakfast in zero G now? <laughs> is the eggs? <laughs> Cthulhu, stop it. Like, my job isn't hard enough without you screwing around. Does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Oh, I'm an excellent wife. Who's the best wife? It's me. Vacuum that grime. What kind of grime? The grime of infidelity? The grime of neglect? What the hell? What, did Cthulhu wipe his ass on my carpet? What, is he not house trained? What the hell? Oh damn, this is like an MIB looking vacuum. Oh, this thing can clean anything. Hey Francis, open the door. You don't have to open it very much. Just like two inches. Actually, never mind. Apparently, the very tip of the vacuum can just phase right through the door. Come here. Oh, holy hell. All right. That's definitely not normal. What do you mean? This is the 1950s. No reason we can't start dropping LSD 10 years early. Great, I have to find all the forks that have been telekinetically thrown all over the damn house. What is this, like a Cthulhu disco ball? Slice it up gladly. Keep an eye out for anything strange, and don't forget- What? What was that? What was that last part? Breakfast time again, huh? It's everybody's favorite time. Breakfast time! Hey! Today's program is brought to you by I love how Cthulhu's powers don't even tune down now. Just the stuff just stays floating. Oh damn it, my bacon! Stay. Stay. Come here, you little bastard. Alright, so far so good. I'm like halfway there. Alright, little s little salt. Little Mm, pepper. So when it says take a fork to it, do I just have to hit it with a fork? Yeet! Got it. Bye, Francis. Hope you have a good day at school. Have a good day at work, dear. Great. Cthulhu's ectoplasmic wiener goo is all over the ceiling now. And clean up this chair here. Holy sh! It really did clean up the whole chair. It sucked it into the vacuum. Oh, clean up all the bacon and eggs and the meatloaf too. Oh yes. Being Magazine is here. Mail order silver bullets. <laughs> this whole time I thought these mail order magazines were stupid, but now going outside without being haunted by the specter of death. Oh sweet, part of the dinner dash is already done because all my cups and plates are levitating into place. 
Don't you talk back to me. I love that this counts as setting the table. Everything's still moving around. All right, Francis, if you can't eat your food while it pulsates menacingly, you don't get any dinner. All right, if I just throw the knife at the meatloaf, I think it'll work. Now it's a little high. Nailed it. You like meatloaf? I can't tell if that's a yes or no. Breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. <gasps> Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. You better not eat the sun. I'll, that'll take away most of Florida. If you can't step outside without immediately getting melanoma, it's not Florida enough. All right, add a dash of spousal neglect. There we go. Oh, I can drive you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Oh, is that- Bye, honey. Is that what Timmy's mom says? Yeah? I got something else to tell you, though, young child. Why don't you come a little bit closer? What the hell is this? This is not what I ordered. I ordered silver bullets. Silver bullets and an extra pair of socks. I saw that your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who's got el eldritch demons in her home. <laughs> Here's a book that might help. Powers of the Nether Realm, consume me! Yes! Oh, am I actually summoning Cthulhu? No, I didn't summon Cthulhu! I eldritchly empowered my vacuum cleaner! Oh, we beat an intradimensional asses now! Yeah, Karen Starbucks is sucking up all your Cthulhu juice. That sounded really bad. Throw a pencil at the paper and see what ideas flow. Alright, demon speak. Go! Oh, shh. Where the hell did the pencil go? Damn it! Do I get another pencil? It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies once I get the chance. Brownies. Made of Karen's fury. Where on earth did the pesky meatloaf go? What the hell was that moving in the corner of my eye? Holy sh! The meatloaf's alive! Ah! Ah! Get, it, get away from me! Use the holy water from the closet to set it straight. Catch it and trap it on the counter. Hey, Meatloaf, if you're hungry, I've got a disrespectful child over there. Go get him. Yeah, go get him, Meatloaf. <laughs> this is my closet. It's holy water in a spray bottle. Holy sh! the amount of salt. Cloves of garlic, wooden steaks. This is amazing. All right, little Meatloaf. I got something for you, you little beefy bastard. Come here. Got it. I have exercised the meatloaf. Mm, demonic meatloaf. I found the way to beat this mini game with the damn floating food. You put the plate on top of the pan and then you just cook the stuff in the pan and it appears on the plate. Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's all right, I'll pick up pizza tonight. I'm gonna kill my family. Your bullets are here. Right click while holding them to soup up your vacuum? Why do I have to shoot the bullets out of my vacuum? Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> it's got a trigger on it. Hell yes. Broadcast, what do you mean they're not a sponsor? The stars are right. The stars are right. It's right here. The stars are right. The stars are right. The stars are right. Stars are right. The stars are right. I got it. The stars are right. The stars are right. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that the old ones are returning and they're charging their boat to the second city of Hope. Yeah, and that Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. 50% off. This constantly inverting gravity is starting to piss me off. No, my eggs. Timmy found a weird bat lizard by the creek. We're going to go poke it with a stick. Timmy, don't go poking bat lizard Cthulhu's with s oh shit. You messed with the wrong Karen demon books. Yay! Yeah! Does this vacuum have full auto? Sure does. I can actually shoot outside the house. It's time to end this. All oh, the tentacles yeah, are coming into the house. You. you screwed up, Cthulhu, when you decided to try and abduct me instead of my child. Now you're gonna pay. Wow. This thing got souped up big time. All right, Cthulhu, I'm here to cook bacon and vacuum bitch, and I'm all out of bacon. And you too, Francis. Well, ingrate. Oh, 
I just kicked my door off the hinges. Right between the eyes, defeat Cthulhu. Where are the eyes technically? Oh, never mind. It was like an epic cutscene. There was a lot of effort that went into this. You think you can summon your eldritch demons upon, oh hell. Wait, did I win? Did I Karenize the evil? Task complete, sure I did. It's a new day, the sun's out, but I still have my vacuum. That means it's time to become a single woman again. Honey, dinner's ready. Oh damn it, I'm still missing the door. And thus Karen vacuumed out the souls of both her husband and child and lived a fantastic life. I have no idea what I just played. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the call of Karen. <laughs> Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.